Welcome to day one of the Fargo Baptist Church 2020 VBS with Captain Jack. So the theme of the week is going to be considering the Redeemer. Okay, what is a Redeemer? What does it mean to be redeemed? Now, if we go back and we study the Bible, the plan of redemption is speaking of buying something back, something that was lost, that once was his, but now it's gone. It's been lost. And so the Redeemer is the person who goes and buys it back, that pays the cost so that he can once again win the prize back. That's the plan of the Redeemer. That's the plan of redemption. And it's Jesus Christ's plan to redeem every person on this planet. And through the remainder of the week, we're going to be studying Jesus Christ's plan as the Redeemer and his plan of redemption through these five steps. Hey kids, Captain Jack here. I'm going to explain to you what you're going to be seeing this week for the 2020 Vacation Bible School program called the Redeemer. On day number one, we're going to be talking about joy because of the birth of Jesus Christ. Day number two, we're going to be talking about the subject of being happy when we obey God. Day number three, we're going to be talking about peace, the peace in your heart that you get when you're obedient to Jesus Christ. Day number four, we're going to talk about hope, the hope that we have because of the power of Jesus Christ and his power to redeem us. And day number five, we're going to talk about Jesus' love because of what he did on the cross in Calvary, and he paid the ultimate price to redeem us. So I hope everybody can watch all five days this week of the Redeemer Vacation Bible School. So take it from Captain Jack. You'll want to watch all of these lessons. See you later, kids. Boys and girls, this be Captain Jack welcoming you to day one of the Fargo Baptist Church Vacation Bible School program called The Redeemer. And today we're going to learn about joy because of the birth of Jesus Christ. So Captain Jack wants you to pay very close attention to the lesson. And you're also going to see a skit. You're going to see old Captain Jack back before he was saved making fun of a little missy sitting on the dock because she was reading her Bible. And Captain Jack thinks all he needs is his treasure and doing all the stuff that a sailor does. Yo ho, yo ho, a sailor's life for me. Ho ho, sailor's life for me. Ho ho, a sailor's life. Oh, whoa, what have we got here? What are you doing here, little missy? I'm reading my Bible. Reading your Bible? Would you be doing reading the Bible? 
Well, you know, Mariner, I used to think like that too. But several years ago, an evangelist came to our church and preached the gospel. And for the first time, I realized that I was a sinner and needed a savior. After that service, I repented of my sin, believed on Jesus, and asked him to save me. Now I want to live my life for him and share others and share what he's done for me with others too. And his book, The Bible, is my instruction manual for life. Instruction manual? I got my own instruction manual. It's called the Sailor's Guide. That's all I need. It teaches me how to sail, and it teaches me everything I need to know about sailing on the high seas. So what would I ever need to read the Bible for? Well, your Sailor's Manual only gives you knowledge about worldly things like sailing. The Bible gives information on everything. I got everything I need in me, Sailor's Guide. I've been sailing this high seas for over except for me sailor's guide. So why would I need to start reading the Bible? Hmm, are you sure? Have you ever, have you ever felt empty inside? Missy, I've been doing this a long time. I've never had any regrets about my life. I don't have anything that I think I need in my life. I get everything I need. I just don't see why I need the Bible. I got everything that an old pirate would need. I got freedom, I've got adventure, I've got treasure, food and water, that's all I need. I don't need God in the Bible. I just, nah, and just, you know, you can just keep on reading your Bible. Maybe old Captain Jack will see you tomorrow if he comes ashore. So we'll see you later, little Missy. Hmm, I don't believe Captain Jack when he says he's never felt empty inside. I'm going to try to witness to him this week, and know God will help me. Hi there, boys and girls. My name is Ye, and this is... Captain Jack! And we are going to be singing a few songs for you today, okay? So I hope you can follow along and sing along with us. All right, the first song is called, My God is So Big, So Strong, and So Mighty. All right, here we go. Here's the first verse. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. All right, so that was the first verse. Now we're going to move on to the second verse, okay? And it goes like this. The mountains are his, the valleys are his, the stars are his, handy works too. Now to the first verse. My God is so big. So strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do for you. All right, that was wonderful, boys and girls. We're going to move on to the next song. Okay. Hey, kids, this is me, old Captain Jack, welcoming you to the very first lesson for our Vacation Bible School program this summer. Now, today, it's on the topic of joy. We all like to have joy. Well, today, Mrs. Laguerre is going to be talking to you about the birth of Jesus Christ as our Redeemer. And we should all have joy because before he was born, there was no way for us to get to heaven. The Jews had to obey all the Old Testament rituals and all that, sacrifices and all that. But when Jesus was born, it did away with all that. So now he can redeem us directly. So I want you to listen very carefully so you can hear about how joyous we can be because of the birth of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Take it away, Mrs. Laguerre. <laughs> Hello, children. To get started, let's talk about why we need a Redeemer. When Adam and Eve were in the Garden of Eden, God gave them a choice to freely obey God and not eat off of a special tree, or they could choose to eat from that tree. They chose to eat from the tree, and the moment they did, they became sinners. Without a Redeemer, sinful lost people would have no way of going to heaven. God knew this, and the Father had a plan. He would send His Son, Jesus Christ, to earth to be the Redeemer for every person that has ever lived or will ever live. The birth of Jesus had been told in the Bible for thousands of years before he was ever born. All the way back to the book of Genesis and all through the Old Testament. 
a young virgin lady by the name of Mary was visited by an angel and told she was going to have a baby. Then she and Joseph had to take a long trip to Bethlehem to pay their taxes. When they arrived in Bethlehem, they found there was no place for them to stay, except in a cave-like area where animals were kept. There Mary had her baby, wrapped Jesus in swaddling fabric, and laid Jesus in a feeding trough they called a manger. When Jesus was born, the father did not have the angels announce it to royalty or rich people, but to shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. They were ordinary shepherds, not rich, highly educated, or special in any way. In choosing shepherds, God showed that His grace was for all mankind. Let's see what happened that normal night in the fields to normal men doing normal work, taking care of their sheep. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. Picture a dark night, only lit by the stars, and all of a sudden being brighter than the daytime, and an angel talking to you. The shepherds had never seen anything like that, so they were very scared. That's why the next thing the angel told them was, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. The long-awaited Redeemer had come. The angel told the shepherds they would find baby Jesus in Bethlehem, in a manger, wrapped in swaddling clothes. Then, and suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. The shepherds' search for the Christ child was successful. They found Mary and Joseph, and the baby was in a manger, as the angel had said. Their lives were never the same after they met Jesus. The saved person is never the same after he meets Jesus, the Redeemer. By faith, the shepherds received the message of the Messiah and believed when the birth announcement was made. They responded to the angel's message by immediate obedience and headed to Bethlehem. Then the shepherds reported the good news abroad and at home. The same invitation is given to the world today. The Messiah, the Redeemer, has come. And each person has the opportunity to accept it by faith. All right, thank you, Mrs. Laguerre, for that story about the birth of Jesus and how we can have joy because we know that our Redeemer lives. We need to remember, we read in the Bible about his birth ago, but we need to remember that he's still alive today. So what old Captain Jack wants you to do is you need to keep watching all of the lessons all week because as we saw today, the birth of Jesus, and you're going to see in the coming days about the early life of Jesus, about how he taught the disciples, about his power when he did all these miracles, and then finally on the last day, you're going to see what he did on the cross to be our Redeemer, which is very important. So you need to watch every single day. So do Captain Jack that favor and watch all of the lessons by all the different teachers. And I guarantee it'll be a blessing. So here's old Captain Jack signing off for now. Hello, boys and girls. My name is Miss Sherry. I don't know if I've met you before at other VBSs, but... Uh, Hello, and I and, uh, hope you're enjoying this so far. It's kind of a different thing that we're doing. We're going to do a set of crafts every night. I'm going to try to make them fun and simple and enjoyable, something you can keep. The first thing, or day one, we're going to do is a treasure chest jewelry box, or maybe you want to put other things inside here. I keep jewelry that's really special to me. And um, this is something my son made me many years ago. So that's where I got the idea. What you're going to get in your day one craft bag is a set of markers. 
just for you. Now you will use these for other projects. So make sure you hold on to them, okay? So hold on to your markers, put them back in the bag when you're done so you know where they are. Next thing you're gonna have in your bag is a treasure chest. Now these are made out of paper, so they're not the most durable. You might have to stick the tape on this hinge, something like that, but they last pretty well. This has been a few years, so. What you're going to do to your treasure chest is decorate it however you want to. Okay, we're gonna have stickers that you can stencil on here. Like my son put my name, colored around it, and then peeled the stickers off. You don't have to do that, that's just an idea. So you can leave the stickers on there. We have um, some nautical themed stickers you can put on there. We have some glittery stickers. We have bling bling you can put on there on your treasure chest to make it look however you want to. So you color them, you sticker them. We'll have a Bible verse. You can put either on the inside or on the bottom or on the side, wherever you want to put it. This is all up to you. That's the great thing about crafts is you just do them however you want to. So that is it in a nutshell, but I'm gonna go over it a second time in case I was talking too fast. So you take your treasure chest, you color it with your markers, and you stick it with your stickers. It's really that simple. And just have fun, enjoy making it. Maybe you're going to want to give it to your parents or your grandparents or keep it for yourself, but you have fun with day number one. Thank you boys and girls, enjoy. again boys and girls we're gonna sing one of my favorite songs and it's called awesome god here we go our god he's an awesome god he reigns from heaven above with wisdom power and love our god is an awesome god our god he's an awesome god he reigns from heaven above with wisdom Power and love, our God is an awesome God. Our God, He's an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom. Power and love, our God is an awesome God. Our God, He's an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom. Power and love. true boys and girls. Have a good day. Hello boys and girls. This is me Captain Jack checking in with you again. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson about the birth of Jesus Christ and about why it was so important that the Redeemer was born into this world and how we should have a lot of joy about it because without Jesus Christ there's no way we could go to heaven. And I hope you enjoyed the skit today too. You saw how old Captain Jack was making fun of Little Missy reading her Bible, but Little Missy wasn't scared of old Captain Jack. She just read out of her Bible and tried to witness to old Captain Jack, because it doesn't matter how many bad things a person does in their life, they can still be saved. So I hope you tune in tomorrow for more adventures of Jesus Christ the Redeemer.